shall never be found. Hey, honey, I know how it sounds. You go quick, sip a damn street, find me. Okay, so cameras aren't set up yet. I will intro everything else here in a moment. Fish on. Um, oh yeah, this is this is usual TMA TFR standard stuff here. I'm gonna wet my hands. I don't even have the net ready, but uh, yeah, I'm not ready. Oh, we did good. Me. Nice trout. Okay. Wow, look at that. Nice oh. colors on that one. Okay, good. Hook job. I'm feeling just so unorganized right now, folks. Uh, Super yeah. duper, yeah. There he is. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Squirmy. Wow, that's very nice yeah. colors on that one. Yeah, look at that. Very nice, nice colors. Yeah. Rainbow. Oh, yeah, rainbow. Yeah, rainbow, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Nice net. Let's do a nice release show. Here. Beautiful. Let's do an underwater release here. Everybody. Enjoy. There okay. <laughs> we'll recap in a moment here. Uh, let's just na let Nathan mount his, his setup. You don't even understand what just the last couple hours of our lives have been. And and being as this is a show, we really should have filmed it to show you, but too busy. Too busy. Uh, you gotta get your LG on. Oh, yeah, we, we just got out of the water and. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't understand how to explain this to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Decisions were made. Were they the right ones? <laughs> That's fatal. Uh, I mean, five minutes ago I would have said no, but he just landed a fish, so maybe. <laughs> we got gate problems, this is the issue we're having right now. We have, our, so we had our sight set on the lake. It took us far too long to get here. It was a donkey trail. Like, like you don't get it. <laughs> Don't come here. Actually, right now, do not come here. Silver Lake, don't go there. Nice trout, not worth the drive. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't worth it. Um, it we, uh, yeah. what, what, what looked on the map to be 45 minutes took a good three hours, <laughs> you know? Uh, and uh, we, we based our strategy on gate openings. Get here in 45 minutes, have a few hours of fish, good to go. No, we have maybe, maybe one hour here. Likely That's to like max. We definitely, 45 minutes is even maybe pushing it. <sighs> okay, let's just recap. So what happens is Silver Lake, he mentioned, we want to go to Silver Lake. You look on the map, hey look, we were close by. It's by that other one we got, Holyoke. Yeah. Hop, skip, and a jump. No a few turns deal. here and there. Let's do it. No, false. Incorrect. Wrong. There's a, there's, now, we are going on what I'm now assuming is an outdated map book. Yes. Um, it's not showing half the roads that are in the area. So like you, you see, okay, we've passed this fork, now the next one will be the one we take. But it's not the next one! Because no, that one's a new one! <laughs> is that you? I don't think so. Fish on. Yes. No, fish yet. Fish, I, fish, I, fish, I have fish, to hit fish, there fish. too. Anyway, so... We kept taking wrong turns. Every single turn we took was wrong. And you, and you spent 20 minutes down it before you say, yeah, this is wrong. Oh, man. And then you find the right one, and good lord, you should see this thing. We had to, honestly, we went through a lake to get to a lake. Legit. A lake to a lake. It's like, I don't even understand. I, looking back, well, why are we here right now? You know, it's, <laughs> I just don't get it. Every, every turn we made, every, every, Anything we made added to okay. Now we've gone too far to turn around. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was every turn we make was 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 wrong, and, and we should have turned around from the get go. No, because now we've gone too far. Yeah, now we're already an hour in. Now we're two hours in. Now we're three hours in. <laughs> <laughs> but man, don't come to Silver Lake. I'm telling you now. Not worth it. Yeah, like and there's like a two prong road like that's circumnavigate the lake here. So we go down one, 
And it's like, ah, no, this is like high cliff edge. We're not finding a lake here. We'll go to the other one. Go up the other one. Oh, high cliff edge. Then they kind of meet, and there is just the trail of trails to get into this lake. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it says in our book, and I, again, I don't know why it's even in. Yep, there we go, there we go, okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Fish in here. I'll just, I'm not even gonna reel mine in. Don't even reel it in, just keep it up. It feels nice, it feels nice. Oh, it's nicer than mine, not that much. Eh, it looks similar, it looks similar. Bring them on in. Right. Oh, and that was on the, the Wicked Lure that, that Nathan the, yeah. is, is lure. upset. No. Yeah, I like these. His battery's dying, so I'm gonna just, uh, uh, some nets. Fish. Oh, I need pliers. We have pliers. Oh, you have pliers. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to slip this off. Oh, you're done? I gotta cut my line. Okay. Got some batteries retired. Try to fish your beats. Oh, guys, better than mine. Nice little. Yeah, that's a bow. Yeah, they got these speckles on them. Yeah, yeah, long and skinny, actually. Like, like the way I usually like them, 11 inch. Oh, wow. That kind of went. He likes me. Oh, there he goes. Whew. I mean, I was not expecting two fish in five minutes, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I like this little bay here. I think that, you like that? No, no, I like this. I think that's going to be shallow. This is a shallow lake, P.S. Yes. It's extremely shallow. Oh, oh what? Strong. Do mine. Strong. Why is that that strong? It is nice. I knew it's been a while. It's been two minutes. <laughs> Not a long shelf life. <laughs> so I don't know how this happens, but I seem to get it more often than I feel I should where the hook. The hook goes in the fish's kind of lower jaw, but instead of like hooking it, it passes through the lower jaw, and now the hook is now the there. line's through the lower jaw. Yeah, yeah. And now I, I'm, I gotta cut my hook off, which I, I don't mind doing, but I just I wish that that wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you know if I was if I was now that I get, I'm thinking a little more clearly, I guess the solution to that would be cutting it kind of. Higher up, so all I gotta do is tie a new eye, like yeah, a, yeah, a new, maybe uh, that was. A new uh, swivel on there. But you're in the moment, you just. I feel for the fish. That's you know? why, that's, yeah. So I just do the easy thing, snip it off, and. So. It worked out. So, yeah. Um, it, 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 as the flow, as the, as the crow flies, very close to Holyoke. So very if, you're, close. if you're up the Brenton, Maine. Yeah, yeah, Mount Brenton area again. On the map, they are side by side. <laughs> but I'll, and you know what? Like it says in the book. I think I was saying this before Nathan does fish. I don't know why it's in the book for one. Yeah. But it says <laughs> this is good. For, for four wheel drive recommended. No, wrong. <laughs> you Serious need a beast. <laughs> you need a monster truck. Required. <laughs> Minimum requirement. <laughs> If you have anything but the Forerunner, probably not gonna happen, honestly. It may not be good in snow, but it was in his element today. Oh, she was loving it. We really gotta take some photos on the way out. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, we, we hopefully will. <laughs> it's a time thing again. So. Again, like we would love to shoot the world, you know? We would. <sighs> oh, man, it's just... I think if we got it back on the road, it's a head like, we got that's the challenge. Uh, we came in the wrong way. Yes. I'm sure. Um, adding to the difficulty and adding to our time crunch. But but the thing is, like, do you, do you take the road that looks like it's going to be quicker, but you don't know? <laughs> we know the way now because we've done it. But I think there's a more efficient way there. I think there is definitely. But we're we're going to get out of here with such little time where it, that it's if you go down a way and it ends up not being the way, we are locked out. But I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> These guys. No, no one these two guys. And I just love, like the best thing is, you have, it's your classic door A, door B scenario. And we had this like five times. And we sit down and we think and we ponder. It's like, eh? Yeah. Eh. Eh. Every time we got it wrong, <laughs> every single time. And it wasn't like just one guy was doing the navigation. We, yeah, we were had both our... looking at a map. 
And like, uh, <laughs> the way the day is going. <laughs> I not expect anything else. <laughs> what time do we have to be driving away at? Quarter after five is the quarter after five is the very latest. So let's say five. Five. We should be leaving the water. Yes. Okay. What's the time? Four thirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sure you know how this works by now, but normally we're on the water for a good three or four hours and we get about a half an hour's worth of stuff. Yeah. As you just could probably do the math, we have half an hour out here <laughs> to do the exact same thing. Again, yes, it's in the book, it shouldn't be, but according to the book, up to, what is it, 16? 14. 14, 14 inch trout in here. Which was the one that I just got? 11? 11. Yeah. Yeah, it's very close. But uh, I think they're going to be skinny. It doesn't look like there's much, uh, much feed. Much feed to make them grow wide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need a lot to grow long, just, you know, <laughs> anybody can grow long. You need space to grow long. You need food to grow wide. <laughs> Science. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I should mention. You should. The road was awful, we've mentioned. <laughs> and had this been our previous generation of rod, it would have broken time and time over. <sighs> that is these a new good These new little Amundsen's that we got, what are these here? Yeah, we moved from the six to the five and a half, I think. <clears throat> no, no, we moved from the six and a half to the six. And in, in our opinion, not far superior for our application. Yeah, these have been awesome little rocks. Yeah, so I like these little guys. Yeah. <clears throat> totally. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm getting nibs. Uh, I'm really considering setting the hook here. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> that's a true. That's a real fish. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed every second of that. <laughs> um, yeah, but can you enjoy passing me the net? That was good. That was great. I think I know what I'm doing. Eh? Oh wow! Oh, oh wow. wow! Is that a cutty? <laughs> Whoa! Right into that net. I think this is the smallest one so far. Oh. Okay. And certainly the most confused. <laughs> is he confused? Oh, yeah, he is. It's confused about this. Why is it in a net? He's <laughs> got that look, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you got pliers on him. Um. Yes. There he is. is another. Huh? It's a rainbow, but these, these fins look like cutthroat fins. Yeah, well, very strange. Back in he goes. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> I mean, I mean, wow. Wicked lures, though, you know? I like it. One might say they're wicked. <laughs> Just saying. I will definitely give this lake some bonuses. It is so remote. Yes. There will never ever be anybody here. And all it is is just birds and bushes and trees and mother nature. It is It is tranquil, um, private, serene. Serene. Calm. But I'll tell you that trail <laughs> definitely takes away from it. <laughs> but another thing that I'm always surprised by Always surprised by. We travel. We just traveled three hours in the bush. Didn't see a lick of wildlife. We never see wildlife. We never like, do. I just don't understand. Like if we were gonna, if we were gonna see Sasquatch, today would be the day. Today would be the day. Didn't see him. <sighs> Didn't see anything. I mean, Nothing. mind you, I wasn't really keeping my eyes peeled. I was. Okay. I was specifically looking. Oh, this is nice. See nice. <sighs> some know, ducks over there. I've seen ducks before, though. I've seen ducks before. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> oh, this is why we do this, though. This is, this is... Oh, 
almost worth the drive so far. <laughs> you know what? Totally worth the drive if you weren't pressed for time. That's a great point, actually. It is. It was actually a very nice drive. But it was just every minute that the clock ticked is one less minute we're fishing, mm -hmm. and one less minute, we one have... more minute early we need to leave to get out of the gate. Yeah, that's exactly right. Start like a petition or like a revolt or whatever the thing might be called. <laughs> Get rid of these gates and yeah, like welcome the public in. Like not public, but you know, There's certain people. You should have some sort of a background check. <laughs> have you ever dumped garbage anywhere before? You know, yeah, things like that. I don't like, know if that shows up on like a background check, <laughs> <laughs> but just like you're blocking everybody out, even the people who want to just go out and fish some lakes, like. We're paying for these fishing licenses that pay to get these lakes stocked. So true. And we can't come in to fish them. So true. You know, because these gates. So anyway, that's my rant. And like, I get it. You know, during the weekdays, there's active logging. Fair enough. Safety first, I get it. But on weekends, like, open the gate Saturday morning and just leave it open. Open until Sunday. You know? <laughs> leave it open until Monday and then, like, close it Monday night. I don't understand. If we were put in some sort of position of power... <laughs> yeah. well, you know those two guys on TV? Yeah, we should vote them in. You should. You know. <laughs> vote them in a what? I don't know. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> some position of gate say. Eh? You know? <laughs> the gatekeeper, if you will. <laughs> What do we got here? Ooh, 4.48. Ah! <laughs> Man, this has been a quick one. <laughs> I tell you though, like this league actually surprised me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like, the fish before the cameras were on. Like, yeah. Uh, first first rule of order, or first move of order, you know, the first thing we did. Boat and water, motor, Rods, no camera, no nothing. Yeah. Like we needed, to get, get rods gear, in, the water, in the water immediately, and that paid off huge. Because yeah, usually we're setting up cameras, we're this and natting, but we were boat, rods, fish. Cameras were secondary. I was setting up the tripod as Tyler caught that first fish, and he kept asking, asking if I was serious. Like I was yeah, joking. Well, like what a joke. <laughs> Three minutes in, I thought he was joking for sure. Such a joke. Sir. <laughs> Me. Oh, I don't have there. Oh, I want one. It's been a while. I want to do a scenario like Nathan, like feel the nibs and set them up. I felt pretty cool doing that, you know? Usually it's feel anything. I bet I am. I'm proud of myself on that one. Yeah, no, that's, that's, it's, uh, that takes training. Yeah. And I think he just took the next step to being a professional. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, wow. I, <laughs> like when you when you've done something so many times and then you can actually recognize that it's happening and then recognize it in a in a timely manner enough to react and produce a positive product that is professional <laughs> that's the definition <laughs> so happy right now <laughs> but you know when you're getting this old it's about time you get yeah, professional you <laughs> We were literally on the lake for 45 minutes. Oh, I got another hit there. Yeah. Okay, he's on. No, no. no I saw it. See, it was on. That was not professional. I had a hit, and I should have waited. There it is. So there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> professional, special. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what we needed right there. This GoPro's rolling too. The GoPro's rolling. Sure? It's like on. You gotta play record. GoPro's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice specky actually. Nice specky. <laughs> Oh yeah, these wicked lures, you know? I am a fan. Big time fan. Oh, I guess it's like that. There it is. Alright. Alright. I love like sort of the uh the, like the TV antenna look I have when I do this. This will be a nice in and out, and I was right. Nope, oh, it's gone. She's gone. 
this guy. <laughs> Same as the rest. There's fish here, folks. But there, there is. Man, I don't know if it's worth it, you know? There's plenty of other options, I'm gonna be honest with you. But if you've done them all, and you got nowhere else to go, and you find yourself in the Mount Breton slash Mount Hall area. You have some sort of decent 4x4. Real decent 4x4. Maybe it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I just love what we're doing. We are two dudes just trying to we're trying to show you options options and and the best case scenario is we show you an option we catch a fish and I feel we're doing that to a T and we're making you laugh while we're doing it <laughs> and I don't see what better what more positive outcome you could have that's the most positive outcome you could have yeah. so with that said my <laughs> name is Nathan Thomas my name is Tyler Kyle as a collective we are two men and they're fishing rods and we'll see you next time <laughs> see you next time